poem where Kim's environment of books is, and he would take care of Kim just like I am. And we're going to have four more great days together. But for now, Fran is constantly at the side of his genius son. The pathologist says everything's great. I just can't wear the bandage until next Monday. I have to go back and see him again. But everything, fine, no cancer, OK? Yes, Dad. Before becoming the inspiration for Rain Man, Kim had been a recluse, unable to even make eye contact with another person. But Dustin Hoffman told Fran to share Kim with the world. Ever since, he has done exactly that. We've uh, flown a million nine hundred ninety-two thousand air miles in 19 years. We've talked to uh, over 4.4 million people in small groups. He's become something that he was never supposed to be. Kim and Fran are on tour 20 days out of every month. Today, they've been invited to the University of Wisconsin to meet an audience of over 300 people, all eager to witness the genius of Kim Peek. We'll start with, uh, with an easy one. What day of the week was March 20th, 1979? A Tuesday. Okay. And uh, I was born on March 12th, 1933. What uh, day of the Sunday. week? Sunday. All right. Why is it this year? You're 75 yeah. years old. Unfortunately, wow. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people look at savants, whether it's a musician or an artist or, or a memory giant, as sort of putting them on display, so to speak. And, uh, you know, can you stump the the genius kind of thing, and that's not what this is all about. It helps them. It's a form of therapy, if you like. A part of that is what we call training the talent, and that's really what the treatment of savant syndrome is, is to find the talent and, and run with it. Although Kim is unable to hold a simple conversation, he has now interacted with millions of people at events like this, all on a non-profit basis. Well, what was the best picture in 1961? West Side Story. There's a place for us. <laughs> Leonard Bernstein wrote the score in 1957. Thank you. So when did Shakespeare write Romeo? 1595, but Leonard Bernstein wrote the score in 1957. I'm very familiar with the literature through the last 125 years, and there's never been a Kim Peek, and I don't know if there would be another. What are you singing to me? That song is called The Birch Tree. Vicenza, Italy, and 10-year-old musician Ariel Lanyi has been invited to make his European debut at a prestigious jazz festival. But he's feeling the pressure. It's a big gig. OK. So right now, what matters is to put a smile on your face, a non-nervous a non smile on your face. Okay. OK? This is a real jazz festival with uh, big names, and he is uh, playing alongside known people. So he's very, very nervous. We just uh, hope that he will revive before the concert. Later that evening, an audience of jazz aficionados gathers to watch Ariel and jazz partner Jean-Claude Jones. Do you know it's better? We practice with the metronome. And uh, we're more together. And we drop the team. That's it, you get it? Sono felice di presentarvi Ariel e Jean-Claude Jones.
but Gabby is in the wings throughout. This time, Ariel's a success. Fantastic. Uh, I never thought that a little child uh, like him uh, could do something like that. A genius, more than a genius, I think. I was so surprised. I said, how do you say in English? That goosebump? I had a goosebump on my arms. Thank you, Jean-Claude Jones. Hey, Gacy, how was it? Hey, man, that was good. Yeah. Was it professional? I think so. Good. When a child prodigy stops being a child, then the question is, uh, is he, does he have the wherewithal to be a, a bona fide artist or, uh, or not? And if he doesn't, then uh, he can be a very happy amateur. If he doesn't follow a career in music, he'll probably have to follow a career in something else. <laughs> and it, has, it will have to be his decision, ultimately. It will not be ours. Next tonight, the superhuman theme continues with our film X2, and the X-Men are in for their biggest battle yet. Then at 11.30, Kirsten Dunst and Paul Bettany will be taking their game off the court and into the bedroom in Wimbledon.